Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com and in this video I want to show you how to add your Google Ads conversion tracking code to your Unbounce page and or pages. Now if you are using Google Tag Manager, check out my previous video where I show you how to set up Google Tag Manager with your Unbounce page. But if you're using the standalone Google Ads conversion code, there are two ways we could do that. You might have to use them both together at the same time, so I will show you how to use both. Uh, but it's just going to be much simpler if you use them both rather than just the one. So the first method I'm going to show you is uh, if you go to settings and you go to script manager, we will be able to add a script that will add this code on every single page of a specific domain. So you do have to have a domain here set up in Unbounds. Check out my video where I teach you how to do that. Very simple. But what you're going to do is select a domain and it's going to add the Google code on every single page with that domain. So pretty convenient, right? So as you can see here, we did Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics already. Check out those videos if you want to know how to do that. We're going to click on add a script. We're going to select custom script and let's name this uh, Google Ads conversion tracking, for example, and we'll say, um, let's say Ted's would work because let's say that's the domain we want to add, right? It's going to be tedswoodwork.live or something like that. So that's the domain. So we're going to add script details. Now we're going to head back into our Google Ads account. I've already created a conversion here, okay? Uh, I assume you know how to create it and you just want to know where to add the code. If you don't even know how to create a conversion, check out my video. I teach you step by step how to actually create a conversion. I go over all these options. I tell you where to go, all that stuff. In this video, I'm assuming you have it all. You just want to know where to add it. So we're going to click on install the tag yourself over here. Again, if you're using Google Tag Manager, uh, check out the video on that. And there are two codes we have to add. One is this general code that will go in the head section of every single page. Okay, So this one, we have to use the script in Unbounce. It makes it easier. You don't have to. You can go into each page manually. But this uh, allows you to add the code on every single step of your um, funnel if you have one, your landing page, thank you page, sales page, etc. Uh, this is the event. So if you want to track sales and you want to add this code on the sales confirmation page, we're going to take this code and add it only to that page manually. Okay. But the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to copy this big code that we're going to add on every page, head back into our Unbounce uh, account, and we're going to paste it here. And now we have to make some changes here and we have to select our domain. So first, let's put it in the head section. Remember, it tells you if you ever get confused, you know, it's telling you put it right before the closing head tag, so in between there, and that's that. And then we can select where we want to add this code. Now, this is the general code that we want to be added on every single page of your funnel, okay, with this specific domain. So we're going to click on all here. If you want it to be only on the landing page, for example, select landing page, okay? We're going to select all. We're going to scroll down here and look for our domain tedswoodwork.live and make sure everything here looks good because it takes about a minute or two for this to save. Okay, you don't want to keep waiting and keep doing these changes. So make sure the name is good. Make sure it's head. Make sure you select it all if that's what you want. I suggest it. You need this code on every single page of your funnel. You have the code correct and you selected your domain. Let's click on save and I'm going to give it a minute or two. I'm going to pause the video and I will be, be right back. All right, so we're back. The script was added successfully. So now on every single page, on every single one of these seven pages of tedswoodwork.live, we have this code installed. Okay, so we can go back and check. Do not click Save Changes. It's going to redo the process. You have to wait another minute or two. But you can edit the name here. You can click on Edit Script to change your domain that you set up. You could also click on this option here to disable the script and that's just going to put the script on pause. It's going to be there, but it's not going to be effective. Or you can delete the script, okay? And if you want to head back into this specific area, if you click back on Script Manager, select your Google Ads conversion tracking, click here and there you are, okay? Now let's go into our pages. First of all, let's check to make sure this code has been added correctly. So remember, we added this code to every single page that has tedswoodwork.live as the domain name. So we're going to click on this option here, paid ad network course. Okay, so right here, uh, and let's just check it. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to open link in a new tab, and let's see if we have this code. Now I am using a Google Ads uh, Pixel extension, a Google Tag Assistant. So just type in Google Tag Assistant in Google 
uh, extension and you will be able to get it. Let's enable this and let's just make sure we're going to enable it and then refresh. And let's see if we have the uh, code here. So we have a bunch of codes. Actually, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but we should see the code over here. All right. So if we go back here and look for our ID 4214, Let's see if we have it here, 4214, right there, global site tag, 4214, that's the ID. Uh, I do have courses on remarketing and retargeting, which is why you have all these different tags here. So if you want to learn how to remarket from start to finish, creating your code, setting it up, using Google Tag Manager to make amazing engaged audiences, creating the audiences, and then actually making ads to those audiences, I show you the whole process from zero to 100 in my courses. Check it out at ivanmana.com slash all dash courses. That being said, uh, let's get back into it. So we know we've added this correctly. Okay, so this code is here, we're perfect, but we do have to add the event though, right? Because we wanna track how many people signed up in this case. We don't wanna just have the code here, although that's an amazing first step. So we're gonna click on edit. And now we're gonna try to add this code to the thank you page to indicate that someone has signed up. So in Unbounce, our thank you page is just around the corner. It's right over here. Uh, it's currently not in use. I think we deselected it, so we're going to um, select it again. And this is going to be our thank you page, OK? So as you can see, it does not have any JavaScript here added manually, uh, and the page does, OK? So they are separate pages. Uh, we created this page, by the way, from scratch. If you want to know how to do it, check out my other video. I'll put the link. Um, this is about a 53% conversion rate page. So check the video out. We build this out from scratch, uh, completely blank page. And what we're going to do here now is we have the code added to this page and to this page, but we want to add the event code to this page, okay? So what we're going to do is take this code here. We're going to copy it, go back here, go to JavaScript, and add this here. We're going to paste it. We're going to select head, and let's say this is Google Ads, and let's say sign up, right? We can say sign up event, for example. And this is the Google Ads sign up event. So when someone signs up through this page and they land on this page, this event is going to fire, OK? And it's going to indicate that someone has signed up. So we can give it a try. We can test it. So we can click Save. We can republish. And that is it. We have successfully added this event pixel to this specific thank you page, OK? So it's going to be a little pop up that's going to show up, but it's going to trigger this code, this event. OK, and that brings us to the second way of adding the code. If you want to add a code to any individual page, what you would do is head over and take the code. So for example, this code, if we wanted to add this code to only this landing page, for example, not every page with the domain, you would simply copy it. Go back here, go to JavaScript, click on add new JavaScript and paste that code here, OK? And then you would do the same process for every single page. Just make sure that it's on head and make sure you name this. You say Google Ads, right? And you say <clears throat> you say base code. So make sure you add this code to every single one of your pages, OK? Um, and that's basically it. That's the second way of doing it. As you can see, it's much faster to just add the base code on every single page of your funnel and then just go in and individually add the event code to that specific page. But that's basically it. That's how you add the Google Ads conversion tracking code to your Unbounce page. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Unbounce playlist where I cover a bunch of cool things you can do with Unbounce and check out my courses. I cover remarketing and retargeting in thorough detail, which covers Google Tag Manager and setting up your audiences and running ads to those audiences. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.